right from the start, we knew that uh, delivering CVN 72 in 42 and a half months was going to be a challenge. Based on the history of RCOH and based on the size of our work package, one of the most significant uh, measurements is man hours. Uh, we have over 23 million man hours on this RCOH. The ship performs 2 million man hours worth of work, and then we have additional work performed by Navy contractors. As the ship entered into the dry dock, many of us, Bruce, myself, um, the whole team, were excited to actually see the ship come across into the dry dock. And as trays were aligned, they could not wait for the ship to get in and get positioned so they can start hooking up services. And as we experienced, it was a day, it was a cold day, a very cold day, but the excitement was what kept us warm. I know that a year ago we had uh, been on hold over at the Naval Station for six weeks, and so we were very anxious to get into the dry dock and get the work started. I don't really know where the last year went. It was extremely uh, fast-paced, uh, but really if you walk around the ship and you think about where the ship was a year ago and where it's come, uh, tremendous change. So far to this point, at what the one-year point, we've opened up about 50% of the work packages. Uh, so we are well into the availability, well into the work, and we actually turned the corner on rip out and we're starting to reinstall significant structure. Everywhere you walk around the ship you can see progress being made and the rip out uh, has really completed. Uh, I was just down in the uh, propulsion plant spaces and we put in the uh, LPAPs, we put in new reactor plant seawater pumps. Uh, you know, a lot of equipment is coming back on board, cables being pulled. One of the uh, significant structural changes on the ship is to, to remove the old radar tower standing right behind me, right behind the island house, and to reinstall the, uh, the radar tower. Uh, that was installed about a month ago and it was installed two weeks ahead of schedule. Great job by the combat systems and all the structural trades that supported that work. What's coming up for us is um getting 72 out of dry dock. We are excited. Uh, we would love to do it earlier. That is still our goal. Um, we got a few challenges that are in front of us, but none of these ships come in without challenge, so we gear up for those challenges. And so every day counts. The day today is as important as the day at the end of this project. And I know the shipyard workers understand this and the sailors understand this, so lots of hard work still to be done, but lots of great progress over the last year. Appreciate the hard work, uh, doing, doing a fantastic job. Uh, need the same amount of commitment to the job to get Abraham Lincoln back to the fight as we uh, move forward through this RCOH. We are working diligently on the aircraft carrier USS Abraham Lincoln. To keep her on schedule, to get her back to the fight. Protecting our freedom. That the government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth.